We are in the ER. Joe got dizzy this morning, felt like he's going to throw up, and he hit the floor. But he didn't hit his head or anything. So we just brought him in to be checked out, <clears throat> make sure nothing's going on. And it's just been a hurry up and wait game. So we've been here since about 10 o'clock. And it's about 2 o'clock now, so that makes four hours. And we're waiting on blood results. And if they come back good, hopefully they'll release him and let him to go home. Hey everybody, it's Joe and Joanna with my Appalachian Life. We thought we'd just sit out here for a minute and talk with you. We can't stay very long because the humidity is so bad. And it has been for weeks so hot that we can't get out and do any outside work much we hadn't even mowed the yard in three weeks we've not had any rain to speak of and everything is just drying up and we need rain so bad don't we honey yeah but you you went ahead and cut it earlier and made it again in yeah i did mow oh monday morning i think it was before it started getting really hot so um, we, we haven't mowed anymore and probably won't mow next week because the weather forecast shows it's still going to be in the 90s and no rain. We might get some rain at the end of next week, but that's a big might. So we're praying for rain. Lord, please send us some rain. And we really feel and pray for everyone in Houston that was affected by the storm uh, that came through there and um, many many are without power and the heat index is well over a hundred and um, it's it's a bad situation and several have died so we pray that the Lord will have mercy and and give relief and get the power back on there right. so um, I thought I'd give you an update on how my low carb diet is going I started it about mid-April, and uh, now it's mid-July, so that's May, June, July, three months, and I've lost 11 pounds. And now I have not been strict on the low-carb diet. I do have days that I cheat, but when I do cheat, I get right back on it. So I'm pleased with the progress there. My friend that's doing it with me, I think she's lost even more than I have, but I'm not sure how many pounds that she's lost, probably around 15 by now. But um, anyway, it's going well, and I just thought I'd give you an update there, and I'm still eating the same sort of things, lots of salads, and um, uh, this past week we had the beef fajitas that I made with low-carb tortillas. They were good, weren't they, honey? Yeah, a lot of sausage for breakfast breakfast too. Yeah, Joe loves the country sausage that we get from Tony Slaughter, so he's been eating, he's come up with his favorite <laughs> breakfast sandwich. You piece of toast cut in half, put mustard on both sides, a piece of that country sausage, and onions, and that's his breakfast sandwich. And It's delicious. <laughs> he really likes it. We eat a lot of eggs and um, chicken and fish and just that sort of thing but anyway um, it's going well and I'm pleased with my progress so talk a little bit about what Joe's been through this week um, he got up Sunday morning and had his breakfast and got up to get ready for church and he said I feel like I'm going to throw up and he's been feeling weak for several days so I helped him get to the bathroom and let him be. And just about a minute later, I heard a big crash. And I went running and he's down on the floor on his back. And you said, you must have blacked out because you, you remembered standing up and then the next thing you remembered you were laying on the floor, right? Well, yeah. And uh, fortunately, he didn't hit his head on the bathtub or anything. He's on a trash can. <laughs> There's a soft plastic trash can in there, and that's where his head landed, so it didn't hurt him. 
but um, it scared me to death. And I called 911. He's wanting to get up, but I wouldn't let him because I was afraid he might go out again and hurt himself the next time if he fails. So I made him lay there until the EMS got here. And they checked him out and got him up. And and um, so we decided to take him on to the ER to get checked out. So that was a 12 hour ordeal. <laughs> and he hadn't had anything to eat all day. And um, he was getting in bad shape. But they were doing the blood work every three hours, checking the cardiac enzymes. Uh, they did a CT scan, they did an EKG. Um, what else did they do on you? You think it cost a lot of money. <laughs> and they had my heart monitor on him, of course, and his oxygen uh, level monitoring that and his blood pressure. But um, I asked the doctor when he came in, I guess it's around five or six o'clock that evening could you please have something to eat? And they just took the next vial of blood and waiting on the results for his enzyme level. And he said yes, he would appreciate if he did eat because when he got sick is when he ate and he wants to know if he's gonna get sick after he eats. So Joe's son Brandon was with us and he went to get some chicken and brought it back and it made a world in difference in Joe after he got food in his system. It didn't make him sick and all of his test results came back good and um, so they released him and let him come back home that night. It's around 9.30 when we got home. But um, we're just thankful you're okay, honey. I'm okay. <laughs> we followed up with his neurologist and his primary care and he went to an eye doctor this week and um, they were all throwing their blue chips at me and if you can get in bad shape as you talk with and interview with people in the medical field <laughs> they'll try hard till they find something wrong won't they absolutely <laughs> but anyway they couldn't find anything wrong with Joe. But uh, his neurologist said it was kind of a common thing for Parkinson's patients to um, have drops in their blood pressure and pass out. So he encouraged Joe to stay very hydrated, that that was the key to it. And Joe's not good about drinking water or drinking anything, period. He doesn't like to drink anything when he eats. and. Uh, so we're going to have to really stay on him to to drink. Right. And I gave you a bottle of water a while ago. Did you drink any of it? I drank half of it. Okay. So anyway, that's the story on that. And they took him off of his blood pressure medicine because his blood pressure was really too low. And that's helping him feel a little better each day too, isn't it? Well, I want everyone to help. Yeah. He's not as weak. He still feels weak, but not as weak has been so. right so that's the update on Joe and um, we'll continue on with the video of the things we've done this past week and hope you enjoy it we're having steak fajitas tonight it's a good low carb I use the low carb tortillas for them and um, I tried to make a recipe I saw on YouTube where you put it in a casserole pan and fold the tortilla over the um, steak and peppers and onions and seasonings and then bake it for 30 minutes and then turn it upside down and it's a real crispy crust. But I forgot to grease my pan and it stuck. <laughs> so it, it just turned out like it is, but it's still good. We like to top ours with more cheese and sour cream and salsa. Well, my neighbor gave me some fresh blueberries that she grew, and I'm making blueberry jelly with it. Get the steam out of the camera. So I have two and a half cups of blueberries, and I just covered them with water and brought them to a rolling boil and started mashing them. 
and uh, once they start boiling you time it for 15 minutes and turn the heat down to like a medium and you take the masher and mash up the blueberries so they have to cook like this for 15 minutes and they're almost done and then I'm going to strain it okay they finished cooking and I'm pouring a um, little bit at a time oops my strainer fell down <laughs> Pouring a little bit at a time through the strainer to remove the pulp, and I press with the spoon to get all the juice out. Now I just have the pulp left, and there's all the delicious juice. I'm going to save this pulp and add some sugar and Cool Whip with it, and put it as a spread on my sourdough toast. That'll be yummy. Okay, I've measured the um, juice. And it was exactly three cups of blueberry juice. So I need to add three cups of granulated sugar to this. I'm going to go ahead and turn my eye back on. On the high side of medium. Once it gets to boiling again, I'll add the sugar. Three cups of sugar. You need to bring this to a rapid boil and let it boil for about 20 minutes, stirring it constantly until it thickens up. Then we'll do a test with a cold plate or a cold bowl. I've got one in the freezer to see how it's setting up. Need one more cup of sugar. this come to a rapid boil and cook it for about 20 minutes. Now as it boils it will um, start to form some foam on top and you can just spoon that off. I have a little bowl right there I'm putting it in. It's hard to film one-handed. <laughs> It's been 20 minutes doing this rapid boil and I skimmed off all the foam off of it. And I'm going to do a test right here. I'm going to bring my spoon up. Just coat the spoon. It doesn't come back together. Now I'm going to try with the little bowl that I've got chilled in the freezer. I'll take just a little bit out. Put it in this bowl. Mm -mm. I just licked the spoon <laughs> and it's delicious. Now this is supposed to, my bowl didn't stay in the freezer long enough, but I think that is gelling up pretty good. So it's time to ladle the jars. Okay, I just took the jars out of the water bath and I processed them for five minutes and I have um, two jelly jars and a half jelly jar out of the two and a half cups of blueberries. So uh, this recipe I followed from a YouTuber and it's Bonita's Kitchen and I will put the link in the description below and I think it turned out great. The uh, sweetness is not too sweet it's just perfect and a great blueberry flavor
Oh. Oh. Stand right there. Stand right there. Stand right there. Give it to me. Give me go. Last one. Hold it up here for me. I'll come back to it later. If that's the way it's going to be, we'll do it later. Let you go out to give me that food.
I'm putting this ointment on the horses where they've been bitten by flies or bees or something. It takes the sting out of it. Um, it's biting insect relief. And where the pasture field has not been mowed and the grass is high, the bugs really like to get around the bottom of their legs. So I put it on there to, as a repellent and put it on their ear tips and just around their eyes because flies really like to get around in the corners of their eyes. Now, are you going to let me do this one last foot before we go out? Before I let you out, i got to do one foot. Right. Come on, give it to me. Come on. Wait, hold it, hold it, hold it. This won't take long if you cooperate. All right, almost. There you go. Don't get too hot out there, guys. Come and drink water. out here this morning. Got to water the blackberries and I'm done. I picked about two quarts of blackberries so far. Find another ripe one here. Let's taste it and see how sweet it is. Mm. Not too sweet. <laughs> but they're good looking berries. I put two quarts in the freezer and may get another quart before they're done. The bees are loving the Rose of Sharon. Good morning, honey. Well, good morning to you. I finished my morning chores. Well, All the watering and taking care of the horses. Good. You are a good girl today. You obeyed all commands. <laughs> Y'all can see Joe is doing really good after his emergency room visit. And what they determined, uh, finally after 12 hours of being in the ER and numerous tests, um, that it's normal for Parkinson's patients to have a blood pressure drop causing blackout spells. He didn't get injured when he fell, so that's a good thing. We praise the Lord for that. Thank so, the Lord for a good trash can to fall into. Yeah. <laughs> and... Um, they took him off his blood pressure medication, so he, you're starting to feel a little better every day, aren't you? I think so. Not as weak as you used to feel right. off of that blood pressure. Correct. Okay, prayers for Joe, and and y'all have a good week, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.
God bless all of you. Thank you so much.